Hey, it's Adam from Splendid Sports, back for another edition of Mickey Mantle Monday. I'm going to show my highest graded Mantle Playing Days card in this one. It's a card from the 1950s. It's a Topps card, and it's a very affordable Mantle card compared to other Mantle cards. It has not run up in price like most of his, if not all of his Playing Days cards have. And regardless of price, it's one of my favorite Mantle cards ever. It's a great action shot. It's a tremendous design. Take a guess. No, it's not 1958 Topps All-Star card, which was triple printed and is very affordable because of that. Uh, again, compared to most Mantle cards, it's not that card. It is the next year after that. Baseball Thrills, 1959 Topps. Mantle hits 42nd homer for a crown in a PSA 9. He led the American League with 42 home runs that year. Check out the back. Action photos. I'm a sucker for action shots. And this is an all-time action shot. Him about to hit a baseball. How do you guys feel about baseball throws? I'm going to pull up the PSA website because I wanted to show a couple of quick things. All right. So I have the PSA website pulled up here and these are the three cards in the 1959 top set of Mickey Mantle. This is a population report. So the interesting thing is if you look at the population of the baseball thrills card, the 461, there has been 3,357 graded by PSA. Whereas the base card, number 10 card, has more than double that, 7505. And the all-star card in that set has a little less, just over 3,000. But the, the base card sells for many, many multiples more than the 461 card that I showed. And the all-star card sells for about double of the, of the 461 card. Regardless of that, I love that 461 card, the baseball thrills card more than these other two. So it's just interesting. Clearly that means that the demand is not there for this card compared to these other cards. That's okay. So who knows why the demand clearly just isn't there for this card like it is for some other mantle cards, but that's okay for me. This is one of mantles best cards. And if someone asked me, and said, I don't have a huge budget, but I want a Mantle card. You don't have to get a PSA 9. But this card in any grade or even ungraded is one of Mantle's best cards in my mind. What do you guys think? Thanks for watching.